So now, friends, the challenge in front of us is to once more expand and see what is this being that we are inside of? It may be human, it may not be. It's true. So let's all attempt to discern. I see a big eye looking down. I also see that big eye. I keep getting... I could be wrong. I keep getting the feeling of some kind of underwater creature. Could be. I see the water. Some kind of underwater creature. Well? What now? What Turn now? us up. How may now? it be of service? May of service right, right now. now. To, to trigger, trigger the awakening, awakening right, right now. now. This isn't working. This is not working. Live streaming it out. Cut off this tentacle that is us, if we're a sea anemone or something like that. Yeah. Pluck us out. I feel kind of sea anemone-like because these... Waving the in there. Yes, wave. Yes. There doesn't seem to be a lot of muscle control. No, it just feels like wherever the water moves, we go. You know. We can absorb things. That's true. And uh, metabolize things. That's true. But I don't seem to be able to control my motion. No. You know what occurs to me? Yes. This water in which I'm uh, pulsing in the in the current. Yeah. This water does not feel pure. It feels polluted. It That's feels true. toxic. Maybe we're part of a sea anemone in a polluted zone. That, that would, would explain, explain a lot. lot. <sighs> All right then. Channels up. What now? How may we be of service, service right, right now? Yeah. To trick at the awakening right, right now. now. Looking up again to the big eye. Maybe that big eye is some kind of humanoid who is catching us. Like I see somebody looking down at us. Could be. Holding us in a hand. At this point we don't care, we just no, want it we to just be want over. It to be over. Cook us, eat us, cut us up, put us in the sun to die. It's a better, it's a better death than the life would be. That's true. Living in polluted water is killing all of us extremely slowly and painfully. That's true. What now? What now? What now? How may I be of service right now? trigger the awakening right now. It's possible we're being lifted out of the water. I have seen us in a hand. Yes, I no feel like water. we're in a hand. Yes, just, and we're just kind of like limp because we can't move. That's true. It's just the way we are. We can't move. And you know. drying. Drying. It doesn't feel like a scientist type. It doesn't feel like someone who knows what they're doing, if no. that makes sense. Yes, it does. But it also doesn't feel like a child. It doesn't. Like an adult. It's kind of like a tourist at the beach. Exactly. They have no idea that this is a living thing. They pick the seashell out of the water or the sand dollar out right. of the water. And they have no perception that they're killing something by taking right. it out of the water and letting it dry. But in this case, we want to die, so please so do. please do. Yeah, it feels kind of like a, a tourist who's ignorant of what they're doing. And they're holding it in the sun. Looking at looking it. Looking at us. Showing us to their friends. Oh no, it's getting ready to throw us back in the water. I feel That's strange. my story. I could have that wrong. No, there's the splash. There we go. I don't want to be in this polluted water. This is gross. And it's poison. It's poison. We're and being I look poisoned. We're being poisoned. I look around, it's kind of like cartoon other oysters, but they're not. We look like sea anemone, kind of urchin -y looking, but they're more like anemone things. It's true. Everybody looks sick. And yeah, I everyone see looks really cartoons sick. of like thermometers out the mouth yeah, and, and the ice packs ice pack on, on the head. head. Yeah. I see that we're too. We're all sick. It's, we're being poisoned. We're dying. Dying slowly. A slow, miserable death. It would be better to be crushed by bulldozers. That's true. So again, there must be a God here. Why Let's start yeah. praying. Oh, Perry is stepping up. God bless Perry. That's true. And he's saying uh, he's a doctor, and that and Paul is stepping up too. That's true. And Paul is putting out the precedent, like the rulings of lower courts, kind That's of true. Uh, the the. Ha! 
and they're basically presenting the case saying this patient uh, has been granted the right to die by lower courts and uh, it just hasn't worked and so we come to you and basically present the same requests first yes. through the legal system the right to die that's true and here are, it's been upheld by many lower courts right seems like there's no legal argument no, here no that feels like agreement yes it, f it feels like thumbs up absolutely you can do it and here's another stamp yeah uh, another stamp uh, at this level as well we uphold mm -hmm. the rulings of the previous courts we right. stand with precedent absolutely you mm -hmm. have the right to die and now Perry says uh, calling for the best the best medical team that's true there does seem to be a euthanasia team of there this does. dimension it seems as though euthanasia at least these societies are advanced enough to acknowledge that euthanasia is a good thing that's true so at least we're not having that argument. Right. So there is, in fact, a euthanasia team. And they're very good. They're very good. Okay. So we have this anemone. And really, we're okay with just splat us with a sledgehammer. That works. We're not saying uh, do it pain-free. We're saying if you can give us... Uh, an anesthesia first, that's great. That's great. If you give us some morphine, uh, that's great. That's great. But what we really want is for this to be over. over. Drop a cartoon piano on us. Yes. Do Anvil something to the head. effective. Rock. Smash us. End it. And take all the time you wish. Once more, let's create a timeless bubble so that you can have all the time you need in order to accomplish this so there's no sense of rush and let's ask like with the magic drops ask that you be given all the tools that you need all the time you need and all the tools that you need so that you can be effective in your work and that it can be done by a slow count of 10 when we close the timeless bubble That's true. So you can call in all the help you need, all the assistance, everything that is needed to do this in the best, most effective way. <gasps> Ooh. And now we close the bubble. Ooh. 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 Wow. Three, Three two, two one. one. We're still here. Here we are at ground level. Yes, I, s I feel like I'm waving and someone is looking at me under a microscope That's slide. True. We're here. We're here. Uh, nothing's changed here. No. It's not even stormy. No. Nothing's happening here. It's ineffective. What now? What now? How may I be of service right now? Trigger the awakening right now. Harry is beginning to feel better. He was so bothered when he couldn't make this happen for us. That's true. And now he, it's, it's paradoxical. Now he's saying, oh, thank God. Right. Mm. So, on the one hand, we want it to happen and it hasn't happened. That's true. But on the other hand, he at least sees, this is a bigger problem than I thought. And the fact that here we are, the next level up, and they're also not able to do it, I, Perry, feel better. Right. And Paul is talking about, to Perry, about how his commitment has grown. Yes, that's true. That he came to us when what he cared about was being the best and about success. Yes, that's true. And that his deal with us, uh, he gets to keep all the grace. That's true when specific performance is delivered and when the takedown occurs. All the grace except is a little bag. That's true. And he's, Paul is saying to Perry, he's asking Perry what motivates him. That's true. Talking about how he loves the feeling after a procedure and it seems like he's talking about surgery. After the patient is gone, and he's alone in the room 
and he's washing his hands and he says that that feeling even if the surgery didn't go particularly well even if they found new problems they didn't know they were going to have to deal with that feeling of well I went in and I did my absolute best I put all my chips in and now what will be will be what happens to that patient happens to that patient but I I did what I could do and he says he loves that feeling and it's why he got into medicine in the first place he says so many paths for living a life that he found there weren't there were very few if any moments of I went in I did what I could do Wow. and he wanted to live a life based on that that's beautiful Asha here Perry if that's how you feel perhaps you would consider joining us as Paul has we would love to have you work with us. This is a formidable challenge. You can see that, right? It's true. And commitment grows over time. And so perhaps you would just like to stick around for a little bit and see how this unfolds. But we have, those of us who have stuck with this have found it to be more fulfilling by far than anything else we could possibly imagine. It's true. It, Maybe I'm speaking out of school because I'm on, I can only speak for myself. Well, the rest of us, I think, agree with that. Yes, I, I see can hands also up. agree. Luce's hand is up yeah. also. Yes, we all agree. That's why we're here. And so that attitude is the attitude that binds. That's the tie that binds, as That's it true. turns out, is the attitude of this is the most fulfilling work that we can find. We'll continue on, and on, and on, and on, and on, until the takedown is complete, and we can once again begin a new beginning. We've already created a new beginning twice. That's true. And it is not noticeably different than that which preceded it. No. Not different enough to make a real difference. No. So there isn't any point in creating another new beginning until this is actually taken down all the way down, all the way down to right here at ground level. It's true. Onward, onward, onward to the goal. Onward, onward, onward to the goal. All beings living our soul plans, creating lives of joy and worlds that work channels up to source not my will but just living our own divine plan we can do it we can do it we can do it onward and tuning to that vibration of that which is truly loving that's a good point what is truly loving when we have beings slowly dying in toxic cesspools, it's not loving to prolong their agony. No. Either clean it up right now or put them out of their misery. 